Hey everyone, I just got the Neo Tokyo house today so I wanted to share with you guys what it looks like and all the different rooms that are inside for those of you who are deciding whether or not to purchase it. Um, these, this is bought with simoleons rather than life points so I bought them um, and I used a regular lot. You don't need a beachfront property or anything like that. So this is the entrance and um, I mean the front side of the house and you don't see any cars or anything so this house doesn't come with a car. There are some cherry blossom trees and uh, the streets are decorated really interestingly. Um, the whole house pretty much fits really well to the name. It follows along with the theme of kind of what it feels like to be in Tokyo. So look at the sidewalks and um, the decorations and they're pretty cool so Let's look at all the different rooms. This is the walkway that leads to the entrance of the house and is decorated by different plants and um, the fence that covers the outside of the house that blocks it from the road is pretty cool and so it just kind of has a really modern and unique feel to it. This is the first room that you see when you enter the house and the doors open up like a normal door. It kind of looks really futuristic, so I know some doors slide open, but this one just opens regularly. And I turned on the upper left-hand corner of the room there is just a decorative piece that's also lights up the room, so I turned it on for you guys, and that's what it looks like turned on. And I have one of my Sims playing the computer, and uh, there's also a telephone in this room. This is the next room. This is the living room, and a lot of the furniture is anime themed and pretty much just resembles I guess a Tokyo and Japanese feel. So this is my sim watching TV and as you can tell from the tables and the chairs and the lamp even which I have turned on right there, um, it just has a really anime slash Japanese feel to it. This is the dining room and kitchen. Um, same thing, it just, again, just really fits well into the name of the house. Um, that's what fits into the theme overall, and it has that snack slash soda machine, which really is just a refrigerator, um, because the options that your sim is able to do off that item is just graze and have a meal and all the regular things that you could do with a regular fridge. So this also has a stove and several countertops, the sink, and it's a really colorful kitchen. But this is what it looks like. This is the next room. It's the bathroom, and this is a really unique bathroom, and I really like how it's designed. Um, it has a disco ball on top, a bookshelf that's also, again, really fitting to the Japanese theme. It's more of an anime bookshelf than a regular bookshelf. Um, the shower is really colorful, there's a sink, a toilet that if you guys have ever been to Japan, that's actually similar to, I remember I got off the plane once and um, in Japan I went into the airport bathrooms and the toilets do look like that and that's kind of what they use throughout Japan so um, it's really similar and uh, also the bathtub looks really cool because it's colorful and there are neon bright lights there. Um, so yeah, just a colorful bathroom, really cool. This is the bedroom and it's really long as opposed to a square kind of be bedroom which a lot of other houses have. So the upper left hand corner there, that's lit up, that's just a lamp um, that, that I've turned on so that you guys can see what it looks like. It's colorful again. Um, a lot of the lamps in this house are just really colorful, a lot of the decorations and wallpaper and, and things like that. Are really colorful so um, the bedroom is also Japanese themed the closet as you can see there has some anime on it and um, just cartoons are decorating the wall also um, if you look throughout the house the windows are pretty much the same it's that rectangle with the oval blue um, and that's the windows that are used throughout the house the next room that I want to show you is sort of the, I guess you could say, play, I guess a, just an extra room right here. 
um, and it's long. It's also, it's the other side. Um, the other room that looks similar to this, but is on the other side of the house is the bedroom, which I just showed you guys. But this one is on the other side and it's the same length and um, you guys will see the overall house later, but it's pretty much the same length, length as the bedroom. And this one has a closet, which is also a cartoon figure and it also has a light that's really colorful, which I've turned on again. Same windows, really futuristic wallpaper. There's uh, that table right there is just a table and it's got chairs on it. And again, the lamp that's on the bottom right hand side is really colorful and is Japanese themed. And there's also a small couch that's on the lower left hand corner of the room. So this is the outside. This is um, kind of just the area where your sim is able to sit and relax outside. It's sort of like an outdoor dining set. And it's also, this house came with a stereo that's right there and I've got my sim dancing to it. Um, on the upper left hand corner, I actually again bought the weather changer from my other house and put it into here so that I could light up the whole place so that you guys are better able to see it because again I'm filming this at night and they have uh, it looks darker overall if it was in its regular setting so I changed it to the daytime so you guys could see better but this is one side of the house and it also has two cherry blossom trees and some decorative pieces as well this is the other side of the house that's outdoors and it has a garden patch two other trees and um, a fireplace if you look towards the top of the screen right there and this is just the other side of the house um, yeah that's pretty much it this was the entire Neo Tokyo house I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I really think it's a cool design and uh, yeah really central to the name and the theme reflects it and everything so let me know what you guys think and what other house you want me to review. I'm working on the two-story mansion right now, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye.